Growing up in Trinidad many decades ago, dal, rice and fried sardines with a little bit of mango kuchila, a condiment or lime pepper sauce was one of my favorite meals. The fish was fried to a crisp perfection and that crunchiness was so addicting. Sourcing sardines in New York has been very difficult so I was very excited when I found this fish that looks very similar to sardine at my local shop right. Well caught, fresh smelts are a great substitute for those of us who cannot find sardines. They are very healthy, high in omega-3 fats, the healthy fats, low in mercury and also low in calories if you don't fry it. For this recipe you can use any type of small fish including sardine, sprat, small herring or what we refer to as fry dry in Trinidad. I also found this clip of my mother-in-law cleaning the fish which you may find helpful. The fish has very soft bones which makes it very easy to clean. You can remove the head or the eyes but that's totally optional. Because the bones are soft that means you can eat the entire fish head to tail. It's quite a delicacy. Once the fish is totally cleaned and trimmed to your liking, rinse with cold water and the juice of a lime or lemon to remove any freshness. Back to my substitute smelt. I have about one pound, a little less of cleaned smelt here. I'm going to season with two tablespoons of green seasoning, salt and pepper to taste and I'll mix it well to combine. And I'm here in my row because I'm alone at home and I'm making myself a quick comfort meal. Just another one of those meals that I had no intention of filming but I just put the camera and started to film. So I apologize for the lack of professionalism in this video but it will be equally delicious. While the oil is heating, I will dredge the fish in plain flour. No need to add any other herbs and spices. There's plenty of flavor with the green seasoning. So I'll dredge the fish in the flour and dust off any excess. Is there a burglar? Is there a burglar? What is it? No! It's gonna bite you. What is it? Hey, he bite you? What is it? Leave him alone. Hey, no, he's dangerous. Bite you. No, don't touch it. You can certainly marinate the fish for a couple of hours or overnight, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to fry it right away. And now that the oil is hot, I'm going to place the fish in a single layer in my frying pan in the hot oil, uh, being careful not to crowd the pan because it will reduce the temperature of the oil, and the fish, the resulting or the result will be very oily. We'll cook until the bottom is a dark golden brown and crisp and then we will flip and cook the other side until it is the same color and then we'll remove it from the pot. It takes a couple of minutes but not more than 10 minutes so be patient. Place the fish on a paper towel or a parchment paper lined tray to drain the excess oil. 
And also do it in a single layer if you can. Next we'll repeat with the remaining seasoned fish. No cleanup. I also made some delicious dal to go with our fried sardine as I mentioned in the beginning of the video but I accidentally deleted the clips so feel free to check out that video I'll leave the link above and below a delicious pot of trini dal that's it that's all there is to eat my sweet friends I hope you enjoyed dal rice and fried sardines or fried smell to whatever small fish you can find as much as I do so much for watching till the end please like share subscribe and leave a lovely comment below if you'd love to see my channel grow until next time stay safe be well cook share and love bye bye